Dub C here, and we're back with another MRE Rash Review. Today, I've got a brown bag, but it's not any ordinary brown bag. It's actually a meal flight feeding individual. I'm not sure if you can see the writing, but it's very dark. So this is set up for long flights, and some of the ingredients were changed due to being on the long flights, as well as a few other things that were changed in these meals. And I guess they're pretty hard to come by. I do have to uh, say special thanks to Salty Croc. We did some trading and he actually sent this my way to check out. So thanks very much. Now we're gonna bust this open and see what we got. Okay, this is the meal flight feeding individual menu number nine, chicken a la king, which I'm really interested in. I've never tried the chicken a la king before. It comes with accessory packet A from Sepeco in Mullen, South Carolina. Now, I didn't tell you the year on this. This is actually a 1986. So we'll be able to explore it and see uh, what kind of changes that were made. Some of the pack our components might be pretty same to the normal brown bag, but still very cool to be able to open this up and explore it. There is a tear notch right here, but we'll, uh, I'm gonna preserve the bag as much as I can. So we're gonna use the credit card knife real quick. Just gonna turn that and lock it, flip this up, and we're good to go. Do a slight cut in the back. There we go, and we'll see what's inside. So right off the bat, we do have the little spoon. We have the accessory packet A. This is interesting, it has the um, pouch stand. So kinda wanna see, there isn't much, I tried researching as much as I can on this, but it's like a little stand you can actually set up for your pouch. So uh, it's pretty interesting. Let's see if I can figure out how to use it. We have the main, which is the Chicken L King. It's got a date code right there. So it's 1986, 206 day. Let's see how that looks and taste. We have some crackers. And I believe these are the salted kind. Yep, you can see the salt on there, so it's going to be really awesome to be able to have those. We've got a cocoa beverage powder. We've got a fruit cake. So that'd be interesting to try. Never had the fruit cake before. Oh, we got some cheese spread. I definitely don't think that's any good, but let's check it out. So we'll go ahead and open the um, accessory packet A. Now, Old Smokey did a review on these about uh, a little bit ago, and he actually, oh no, look at that. We actually have it sealed in there into the package. All right, we got it out. So Old Smokey did um, a review on this. He did, uh, I think it was a turkey and sliced. Um, and he, you know, he kind of showed, he actually made a uh, army mochaccino. So I may do that with the cocoa because it looked really good. And I'll put a link of uh, his video down below. We got the cream substitute dry non-dairy, the coffee instant type one, which is a favorite of mine. You just don't see it that often. We got some sugar, some iodized salt, toilet paper. And some gum. So I got the uh, pouch stand. And this is the best way I can figure it works. You put the, push the inserts in here, and then it says to set up, squeeze the push where indicated, insert pouch, and rest across the push ports. So this must be so you can set your main down and eat the other components. And then I don't. There's no FRH, so I don't know if you have to heat it or there's a way to heat it. And it, maybe it was too hot to hold. Um, but this offers a couple options as far as you know, opening your pouch, eating it, and then setting it down. Because if it's in the pouch itself, obviously it's not gonna hold itself up. I mean, you'd have to hold it. So it's kind of a nice option that I've never seen before. Um, but it offers just a little stand for it. As I was inspecting the package, I uh, seen this, and I'm not sure if it's from something else or if it's a pinhole. I'm trying to squeeze anything out. I'm not getting anything, so we'll still uh, we'll still warm it up, 
and see how it does. Got some hot water, so we'll make up our uh, cocoa beverage powder with the coffee and everything added it to it. Let's take a look at the beverage powder. Looks fine, there's no clumpiness to it. Let's go ahead and pour that in. Looks great, smells great. Right off the bat. Let's go ahead and mix everything right off the top. We got that. We got our cream substitute, non dairy. Looks okay. We got our sugar. Also looks fine. And then the final is our coffee instant type one. Yeah, looks fine. Looks perfect. Okay, we got everything mixed up. Let's give it a spit, uh, stir real quick and let's sit. Let's go ahead and open up the crackers. Let's see if they have uh, any vacuum seal left on them. Oh, that's a nice one. Smell a little bit stale, but not too bad. Oh, kind of broken up. Yeah, let's go. I'm not thinking the cheese is going to be any good, but I guess I'd be surprised before. You can see the salt crystals on there. Very cool. And then we'll get the fruit cake. Never had the fruit cake before. It's got a little foam in it. I'm not sure if it's got um, raisins, flour, nuts, pineapple, shortening, cherries, whole eggs, water, baking powder, cinnamon clove, and nutmeg. So probably concern would be the nuts in there. We'll see. Uh, see if it held up. An interesting look to it. it does not smell that good oh it's pretty slimy is it supposed to be slimy oh boy it's got a wicked smell to it it's got like a little or a uh, yellow dye inside the bag so that's gonna be interesting in fear of the fruit cake being bad, um, I'm just going to try the coffee with the creamer, the sugar, and the cocoa mix because it looks really good. I'm excited to try it. Now, I've never had it mixed with the creamer and the sugar. It is a perfect balance. Having all that in it, it's, I would thought it would be too sweet, but I added enough water so there's enough water to support the coffee and the cocoa. So it thinned it out to a perfect blend, very rich, very creamy, but not overly sweet and has really precise flavor. Uh, very enjoyable. But now it's time to try this uh, fruit cake. So let's get a, it's very oily on the outside. Kind of see what it said. Look at that. I don't know if that's, um, if that's a nut. It's not looking good. But let's try a little piece and see what happens. Here we go. At first, I actually got a good bite, and um, it, it tasted exactly like fruit cake should, and it didn't ha have any bad effects. And then I hit, I believe, a nut, and instantly my mouth was coated with the, like the oily residue, and a little bit of numbness started kicking in. So the nuts definitely went rancid in this fruit cake, but I mean, I still got the taste of flavor until I hit that that bad patch. But um, it's it's really quite flavorful before um, you hit the rancidity. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try one of these crackers with the salt on them, just by themselves. And I'm not purposely avoiding the cheese, although I'm a little worried. So let's try a couple pieces of crackers. Just so amazing how much more flavor these have with the salt. Um, it just pairs so well with the cracker. Eating them now, the crackers, I don't. They just they're so dry and dense. These ones are they're just like saltines, and they're actually very enjoyable. I really wish they had the salt on them still. All right, it's time to open up the cheese. It doesn't feel that bad. It actually feels like normal cheese. Where, you know, I've seen somewhere they busted up the packaging. It just smelled really bad. 
Oh yeah, it's not looking good at all. Look at that. Oh yeah. Doesn't I mean it's got a bad smell to it. Um we'll go ahead and uh, try a little piece just by itself. Here we go. Alright, the cheese is definitely no good. Always trust your smell. Um, because it tasted worse than it smelled, and it uh it was like instant numbness and tingling sensation, but yeah, definitely bad. I had to get rid of it because it was stinking up the room. So now we got the chicken a la king. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what that's all about. And I've heard a couple other names like as far as smell, it smells okay. It's got uh, looks like it's got peas and pieces of chicken in there. Looks like big old pieces of chunk chicken. I mean, overall, it looks pretty good. I don't know if those are mushrooms, hopefully. All right, let's get a bite. I got a big piece of chicken. Let's give it a shot. All right, so it's not it's not too bad, but I can see why they I think they call it chicken a la thing because I I'm only thing flame bear I'm getting out of it is like a chicken stew, so I don't know why it's really called chicken a la king. We'll go ahead and put some on a cracker and try that. Just all kinds of different ingredients on it. I don't know. I had a chicken stew brown bag that's tasted very similar. All right, let's try this out. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Putting on that cracker, enhancing the flavor. But overall, uh, it's a really interesting meal. Uh, basic components, nothing really hard to eat on the go. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and we'll talk more in Final Thoughts. So Final Thoughts on menu number nine, meal flight feeding individual, chicken a la king. It's a really awesome ration explorer. I really like how they had the pouch stand. And I think that should be included to the current MREs because you want a place to stand your pouch or set your pouch so that it's not going to tip over. So I really like that. And um, as far as the other components, the fruit cake was really good. I got to initially taste the flavor until I hit like a rancid nut. And then you just get that coating in your mouth and kind of just goes bad from there. Uh, chicken a la king kind of just remind me of chicken stew. Didn't really have a distinct flavor. Um, I put it on the cracker and made it even better. The salty crackers are amazing. I wish they'd just bring the salty crackers back. And the drink. Fantastic putting the coffee type one with the cocoa with the sugar and the creamer. I've never done that before. It was delicious. Now uh, the cheese obviously was bad. I kind of thought it was going to be from being 1986, but still wanted to open it up and check it out. But overall, great ration to check out. Another one to add to the wall of our Marie's. Just really cool that uh, I was able, you know, somebody sent me this to check out the meal flight feeding. Very cool. So that's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.